All right, trying to have out Patrick this morning. Sounds kind of shy, but uh, sounds like a very nice guy. They went to Shaker and Peel, and he thought things went great. He was very excited to see Andrea again, and he asked her to text him when she got home after he uh, walked into her car, and she never texted him. Now, she may have forgot or got busy or got on a phone call on the way home, maybe, but we did get her on the phone right now. We have her on hold. I want to bring her back on. Andrea, you there? Yeah. Hey, Andrea, random. I know that we called you today, but I do appreciate you being down to come on the air with us. Uh, we just want to ask you about this guy, Patrick. We heard you guys went to Shaker and Peel. Uh, he thought everything was great. The, the food was great. D- uh, the conversation was great. Uh, he didn't feel like he you know, threw up any red flags in your face or anything like that. And uh, I guess he walked you to your car um, and then said, hey, text me when you get home. And then he never heard from you again. And he's just kind of confused on what happened. So... We were just wondering if you could help us out and kind of shed some light on what the deal is here. Like, why aren't you getting back to this guy? Because he sounds really nice. Yeah, he's super nice. Like, that's the problem. He is too nice. Wait, what do you mean, too nice? Yeah, he's like he's like a wet blanket. He's like a total he, pushover. He's a pushover? I mean, what did he get pushed over on? Oh, my God. Like, every single thing that happened that night, I was like, are you kidding me? Wait a minute. This guy's too nice. I mean, you got to give me some examples because, like, you're only with him for, what, two hours? Okay. Well, um, when we got there, there was obviously – it was super busy. And we came up to the hostess stand, and she she took our names down. And then this other couple pushed up behind us and, like, consulted with her. And then she came over to us and was like, hey, do you mind if this couple behind you gets seated first because – they're really in a rush. And before I could say anything, he was like, oh, yeah, no problem. That's totally cool. We don't mind waiting. And I was like, mm, excuse me? And he just let them get seated before us without even asking me if I was cool with that. But then Patrick ordered something. And the waiter came back and was like, oh, sorry. You know what? We're actually out of that thing. And Patrick was like, oh, yeah, no problem. No worries. I'll just get this other thing. And I was like, my the chef could make you something similar to what you ordered. Like, it's not that complicated. It sounds like a very easygoing guy. That's a good yeah. thing, right? I mean, except the food came out and it was cold. And I'm like, okay, that's like, he was like, oh, yeah, the food's kind of cold. I'm like, oh, well, they could totally warm it up for you if you sent it back. No big deal. He's like, oh, no, I don't want to trouble anyone. It's no big deal. I'll just, it's fine. It's not that bad. And I'm like, you are paying for this. Like, it's not like you're getting like a Costco hot dog. Like you are getting a meal at a nice restaurant. Why don't you just get your food warmed up? It's not, it's going to take two seconds. And he was just like, no, 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 it's cool. I'm fine. I, I'm surprised this bothers you. Cause I feel like someone who would like, cause a big scene or a ruckus or whatever would be bothersome to you versus someone who's just like, yeah, whatever, you know, we'll figure it out. Yeah. But like, you should also get what you want. Wow. It, it just, it seems so, I don't know, kind of pathetic to me. So I decided to test it. Oh, man. So I was like, oh, can I switch seats with you? Can I sit on the other side of the booth? And he was like, oh, yeah, sure, no problem. Like, let me just move over to the other side of the booth. (laughs) (laughs) And that bothered you because he said, I'm going to accommodate you if you for sake got another booth because you tested him. Yeah, there's no reason I needed to move. I was perfectly happy in my spot. I just wanted to see if he would do whatever I said. And I'm like, this is this is way too passive for me. Like, I want alpha. Like, I want a guy who's going to take the lead, who's going to stand up for himself and for me. I want to know that I am safe if we go out, that he's not going to be like, oh, you want to, like, touch my girlfriend's butt? Sure, go ahead. No wow. problem. <laughs> oh, come on. This, Andrea, this is crazy. All right. Well, listen, here's the deal, Andrea. We actually have Patrick on the phone, and I want to bring him back on because I, I can guarantee you he didn't think that was the issue. No. Uh, let me bring him back on right now, if you don't mind. Patrick? Hey. I'm going to let you talk to Andrea because uh, there's a lot of things that she's saying, and uh, I mean, I'll just let you kind of address her. Yeah. Hey, Andrea, it's, it's me. I just, um, I guess, um, I don't know. I So it was because I was like, too nice about like dinner? Yeah. Not- you're just, I don't know. It's, it feels like you just have kind of a weak disposition. Like you don't, like you let four people just push you around in that 90 minutes. Like that's, I mean, to me, that's a red flag. Well, I mean, I was just like, I just want everybody to be like happy. I'm not trying to like cause any like problems and stuff like that. I mean, if I feel like I was helping people out that, you know, like whether it's the staff or even other people there, I, I didn't think we were in a rush or 
you know, anything, you know, where I would, you know, I, I just don't want to have any like, trouble with anyone. Or anything. So, Andrea, so this is a deal breaker to you because this guy is too polite and too respectful. I mean, like, it just, if, if you're like this on the first date, right? Like, you're in your best behavior. You're, like, really trying to impress the person. Exactly. Um, right? Oh, he's yeah. trying to be on his best behavior? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you're, you're trying to impress the person, and, like, it's only going to go downhill from here. Huh. Like, I feel like I could so easily control him, and that's kind of grossing me out. Well, I'm confused on this one, but, uh, Patrick, I'm going to give you the last word, man. Yeah, just, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry she feels that way, and, you know, I, I just, I'm not the type of person to cause a scene especially at a restaurant you know and i know everybody has a job to do and there's you know other people involved and you know oh my god you can't even stand friend. up for yourself right now like you're, you're like you can't you need you need to like get a role model or something like you need a man uh, in your life who's going to show you how to be a man okay i'm gonna jump in here uh patrick hey listen it's not gonna be andrea i don't think you guys are a good match personality wise i don't think you guys are a good match andrea i'm gonna let you go but i do appreciate you coming on with us patrick now you got an answer and i think it's good that you just kind of go in a different direction but i appreciate your time patrick yeah no i mean uh thanks a lot for, for doing that and, and getting to the bottom of this i i it didn't work out but I, I really do appreciate you guys yeah man stay positive i like it stay positive all right you, you take care man you too all right thanks <laughs> Andrea, I mean, listen, I think she's saying this now, but I think if he were to, you know, be assertive or more assertive or whatever, I think she'd be the first one to shut it down as well. Yeah, I mean, I could kind of kind of see where she's coming from, though, a, a little bit. I mean, I think all situations are different, but uh, yeah, this is this is kind of a tough one. I'm curious to uh, hear what our listeners have to say. Uh, let's see what we got. QIK family, what do you think? 800-992-1099. 800-992-1099. People are already calling. We want to hear from you right now. Chris Young, Kane Brown, Famous Friends.